Hey guys, so for today's video, I created this eyeshadow look using the Sigma and Alice in Wonderland eyeshadow palette. Today, I played with the warmer side of the palette today, so like all these ones right here. And I created this like kind of fall look, but I like that it's kind of more like mustardy toned. Super pretty. I do have two other videos on my channel already using this palette, so if you want to check out some other looks using it, I'll link those down below for you. And if you want to see how I got this look today, go ahead and keep on watching. But before we get started, this video is kindly sponsored by Scent. I've worked with Scentbird many times on my channel and I do really love their fragrance subscription. So at Scentbird you get to choose a new designer fragrance for just $17 a month. With each fragrance you get a 30 day supply in this cute little case. They actually just changed their packaging and I love how this looks. It's a lot more sleek and kind of bougie looking than the old packaging. I love this. In this travel case you get a 30 day supply of fragrance. If you want to know what fragrance is inside you just pull that apart. There your fragrance is right there. And this is how much fragrance you get. Like this is a lot. It's so much bigger than those tiny little samples you get from Sephora. I personally love the amount of fragrance you get in here because I almost never finish a full bottle of fragrance because I'm always changing my fragrances for the season. So this is the perfect size for me. So since I'm always changing up my fragrance for the seasons, I love that I don't have to buy and like commit to a full bottle of perfume. I can just pick up one of these. So I'm gonna show you the five fragrances that Scentbird sent me. Let's get into these. I'm gonna start off with a perfect fall scent. This is Confessions of a Rebel. This is actually a brand that I learned about through Scentbirds. So that's the cool thing about them is that they have more than just like designer brands. They also have like indie brands like this one. So with each fragrance you get, they send you a little card here that tells you everything you need to know about your fragrance. So the notes in this one are black currant, jasmine, sandalwood, and skin musk. That's like all of the fall smells I love in one. So this is one I'll definitely be wearing a lot this fall. Oh, this one's nice. This is Versace Bright Crystal Absolute. And look at this like bright orange packaging. It kind of goes with my makeup today. So this one has notes of a peony, raspberry, yuzu, pomegranate, and musk. I like that that is kind of more fruity, but still has that like musky undertone to it. Very pretty. Next we have a classic perfume in my mind. This is the Donna Care New York Be Delicious. Oh, Whenever I smell this perfume, it brings me back to working at Ulta because when I was like 18 at Ulta, this would be the perfume I'd wear all the time because I just love the apple in it. So the notes are green apple, grapefruit, cucumber, tuberose, and white woods. This kind of has like a mixture of everything. Like it's fresh, but fruity, a little bit floral in there, and it has that white woods in there. Kind of a little bit of everything, but this is a classic to me. Next, I have Burberry Brit Sheer. This one came in this gorgeous green packaging. Like, look at how bougie this is. I love this. And the notes in this one are peony, yuzu, peach blossom, musk, and pineapple. I like this one too. I haven't really smelled this one before. And last but not least, we have another classic, which is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. If you haven't smelled this one, you're missing out. The notes are lemon, apple, cedar, bamboo, and musk. I'm actually headed to New York just a couple days after filming this video, so I'm definitely gonna bring one of these because this is so travel friendly. It also locks in place, so like, it's not gonna spill out in your little travel bag. Like, it's stuck in here. So you just twist that to spray the perfume. I think I'm gonna bring the bitch, please. Like, like I said, this is the perfect fall fragrance. So if you wanna check out Scentbird, I will leave a link down below for you in the description box. And you can use my code BRIGHT55 to get 55% off your first month, making your first fragrance about $8, which is a really good deal. Thank you again to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Now let's move on to this makeup tutorial. My eyes are primed and ready, so let's dig into this palette. I think today I'm going to stick to this end of the palette because I haven't gotten a chance to play with these shades yet. So for my brushes today I'm going to use my brush set that I created with Sigma Beauty. My brush set has my five go-to eyeshadow brushes in it and my set retails for $62. So I'm going to start with the Sigma E25 in the shade Twinning and this shade's going to go in my crease. I feel like this is kind of a unique yellowy mustard shade. Like it's not too mustard but it's not too yellowy either. It's like perfectly in the middle. It's really pretty. And the shade is applying and blending out beautifully. Now I'm taking just any kind of skin tone colored eyeshadow and I'm just gonna blend right below my brow to make sure this is nice and seamless. Now 
Now I'm gonna take Queen of Hearts on my Sigma E25, and I'm gonna put this shade in the crease to start to deepen it up here. Okay, I want to swatch these two shades because I'm not sure which one I want to put on my lid. Okay, so this is March Hair and Mr. Walrus. Ooh, I'm gonna use Mr. Walrus just because I like the tones of the shade. So I have that shade on my finger and that's gonna go all over my lid. I'm gonna go back to the E35 I was using and just softly blend in the crease. Now I'm gonna take a little bit more of that Queen of Hearts shade on my E25 and just tap that on the outer corner of the eye so I can connect it into the outer crease right out here. Now I'm gonna take the E21 brush in the shade Curiouser, and I'm gonna stamp that along my top lash line. I'm gonna go pop on my face makeup and then we'll finish up the eyes together. All right, my face makeup is done and I just have to tell you guys, the new Sephora Best Skin Ever Concealer is like my new favorite concealer. The first time I used it, I was like absolutely shocked. I am doing a sponsorship with them on Reels. So like this isn't sponsored. I genuinely love this and it makes my under eyes like so smooth and it's only $15. I just, I had to tell you guys. So let's finish up the lower lash line. I'm gonna try taking March Hair on my E21. I really want to try this shade on the lower lash line since I didn't place it on the lid, but like it goes so well with all these colors I used today. I do really like this color. It's kind of coppery, but it's like a soft orangey copper, like a little less red than I feel like we see normally on copper shades. And it's not too shimmery either. It actually looks really good on the lower lash line. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with that for the lower lash line. Just keep it nice and simple like that. Really pretty. Now I'm gonna take the highlighter I used on my face. I used Sigma Moonbeam and I'm gonna take my Sigma E30. Just pop that in my inner corner. And a little bit under my brow. I'm gonna go pop on some mascara and lashes and then I'll show you the full face. All right, I popped on my mascara and lashes and for my lashes, I'm wearing my brand The Bright Lashes and the Half Lash Flare. All right, and here is what the full face looks like. For my blush, I'm wearing the Sigma Blush in Nearly Wild. Lots of Sigma products today. And then you guys saw my highlight was Moonlight. And then on my lips, I'm actually wearing a matte liquid lipstick. It's the Makeup Forever Rouge Artist Forever Matte. I think these are new. I've got like a little PR box and I think it's really pretty. I'm wearing the shade, ooh, tiny letters, 106. Um, I've just never been a big fan of liquid lipsticks in general. Like it's kind of sticky on my lips. I like the color, it's pigmented, but it's just not a formula that I've ever really liked. But I did want to at least give the product a chance because maybe there will be a liquid lip formula I love one day. Haven't found it yet. But anyways, I love how my makeup turned out today. I really like the tones of this eyeshadow look. Like it's definitely fall, it's warm tone, but I like that little bit of a mustard undertone with that twinning and Mr. Walrus shade. I feel like it's a little different than your typical like warm brown fall eyeshadow look. I really like it. If you wanna check out any of the products I use today, I will leave them down below. And of course, my Sigma brush set. There will be some changes to the set happening within the next 
mm, couple months or so. So if you want to get this set, get it now while you can. And of course, you can use my code Angela Bright on anything Sigma. It'll work on the palette. Not on my brush set though, but any like individual brushes it'll work on. Thank you again to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. If you want to check them out and try out some fragrances, use my code Bright55 to get 55% off your first month. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.